In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at some tips for using trim and multi-trim to edit raw video footage. Oftentimes, we simply leave the camera running and we have a number of retakes that we use in raw footage. Or we might even have some outtakes that we need to remove from our final project. It's tempting simply to use the timeline to do all this editing. But I have found that using the trim and multi-trim function gives me a lot more control and visual clues over exactly what the edit will look like than simply working exclusively on the timeline. Let me give you an example of an outtake. Here we have some talent and they're running through a script and they enjoy it so much that they break character. You think like eyes or no? <laughs> I'm sorry. While that's fun in filming, it may not be what you want in your final project. So let's look at how we can use trim and multi-trim. Instead of editing this on the timeline exclusively, I'm going to simply highlight the clip and click on the scissors icon above my timelines. That will get me to my trim and multi-trim screen. And if you look at the top, we have two tabs. Now we have a preview screen in the middle. And then we have the actual frame that's the start of the clip and a frame that's the end of the clip. Now single trim is designed to be used when you only are going to extract one element from your raw video footage. You can use multi-trim for that purpose as well. We'll talk about that in a moment. I can take my mouse and I can actually move my trim marker in as far as I want and set my endpoint. Another way to do that, much more common, is we simply start playing the video. And then what we do is we get to the place where we want to stop it. We can move frame by frame again by the next frame, previous frame, so we can be absolutely precise. And when we get to that place, we can click on the left button, which is the mark in. Most editors prefer to use the keyboard shortcut, which is the left square bracket key on the keyboard and that gives me a mark in. And I see where it is, that's my in position. Here it happens to be five seconds and four frames. And I can adjust it uh, by editing it here, by sliding over, or by using the up and down buttons. So if I want five and three, five and two, five and one, that's my new in position. And if you lo look down here, it, it adjusted my uh, cursor to match in the time code exactly what I have here. Then I have an out position as well. Again, I can get approximate by moving the cursor and I can tweak it a little more by using the one frame at a time option. And then I either click on the button or do the right square bracket on my keyboard. That's my out position. So now I have this precisely done. I'm looking at, the, at it frame by frame. It's just a really easy visual way to get a single edit out of a large raw video clip. Another option I have is let's assume that I only want a 40 second clip from this entire piece of raw footage. So I can just type in 40 in the duration area and type zero and now I have a 40 second clip. If I want to lock that down, I click on the lock duration button here, and now I can move this a little bit if I want to adjust it frame by frame. So now I have the opportunity to change that. The default is to have the preview screen looking at the original clip. And in this case, if I click on my square at the bottom, my pause, it will go to the beginning of the clip including the part that I want to extract and the parts that I don't. So if I hit, I hit play here, I'm at the beginning of that. To change that, we click the output button. And now if I hit my pause, it will start outputting and I will see actually my outputted clip, my finished clip when it comes to that. And when you're done with this, all you can do is click on OK and it will take that segment, pull it out of your media room and drop it right into your final track. I'm going to do Control Z to back up. Now I want to show you multi-trim. In order to get to multi-trim, I use the same technique. We click on the scissors above the timeline, 
and then we click on the right tab at the top saying multi trim. Now one thing I like, if you really like the multi trim, you can use it for single trim as well. You just have a slightly different screen. Now let's see what we have when we look at it. We have this odd rectangular box here. What's that all about? This gives you a time interval to focus on. Right now the, the default is 10 seconds. If I click on the magnifying glass, now it's five seconds. This box that, I'm, that I focus on is half the size of the other one. I can click again and it will go down to one second. Click the magnifying again and it will go down to five frames. So each of these thumbnails would be one sixth of a second. And I can actually go down to a single frame. That's really nice. So my preview is down here in the box rather than over to the right when I'm using multi-trim. Let's go back up to uh, one second. Well, let's go to five seconds. There's another way in which you can adjust that. You notice whatever measure you have here for magnification is your timestamp below. Right now, each of these thumbnails is five seconds apart. So when I click on the thumbnail, I have moved five seconds in my editing. Another way to change this, what if I just want to say I don't want a one second clip or five second clip. I want a, a two second thumbnail, a two second gap. If that's the case, I take the mouse, hover over the left or right area of this rectangle and I drag and I can change it. You notice the numbers are changing down here. And let's move it down to two seconds. I click there. Now I have a two second gap between each of these. And each of these thumbnails is two seconds apart from the previous and next one. So that's a nice way to change that. Uh, so you can focus down in, in any measure that you want. Uh, the lowest you can go is a single frame. So this is how you can begin to change the area you want to work on in your project. So I'm going to assume here we're going to do a multi-trim. We want to take several parts of this video and cut them out, put them on the timeline. I'd use the same technique as I did before. I move my playhead to the place where I want to make the trim. We can go with just eight seconds on this one and then we'll either click on the icon, the mark in, or use the left uh, square bracket and then I'm going to move over, let's move over from 8 to 14 seconds and I'll click on the right square bracket and I have my first cut. If I'm going to move to another place, let's go to 18 seconds. Again, we can repeat the process and go to 24 and click on the right, right mark out. Now I have two segments. I'm going to assume for the sake of the tutorial that these are the two that I want to extract and put into my final project. All I do is click on OK and it will put each of these in my timeline. But there's something else you can do that, which is kind of cool. What you can do is you can take the parts that you do not want and mark those. So let's assume that I don't want this part and I don't want this part. I can mark them and that's what the double headed arrow for, is for. That will invert the trim results. I'm going to use everything but these two. I click on the double headed arrow and notice what it did. It gave me three segments. The segment before my mark in mark out, the segment between them, and the segment after them. And I can flip back and forth by clicking on it again. And here I have my two marked areas. So I can either mark the area that I want to use in my final project or mark the area I don't want to use and it will take care of that. And if you want to delete the markings of a segment, you just highlight it on the right side and you click on the garbage can icon and you've unmarked that segment. That's a very easy way to undo that. And we'll unmark the first one as well. Now we're back to normal. Another option you have here is you have this odd icon. For me, it looks like a castle with flags. It's actually a scene detection. And when you click on that, it will look for scenes. It can actually split the scenes, which would be mark them, or just mark the scene breaks. 
I won't do it on this clip because my footage is uh, too stable. It will not detect any scenes in this particular segment of raw footage. But that's what you can do automatically to split the clip. We'll cancel out of there. But I find this very useful because what it does is it gives me a more precise way of looking at my project frame by frame, uh, either using the multi-trim function. And again, you can use this for only single trim. Uh, if I'm going to work on this one here, I might say I want this to be my mark in and this area here to be my mark out. And all I've done is a single trim, but it worked just as well. And I click on OK and it drops it right back into my timeline. So this is a very useful tool to see clearly, full screen, all that you want to do when you want to trim one or more segments from your raw video footage and put it in your final project in CyberLink PowerDirector.